Welcome, boys and girls, to another edition of me doing stuff on here, uh, the YouTubes. Uh, hello, Kenny X. I've, uh, I've got just the right amount of tequila here uh, left in my cup to finish this recap. Uh, today, we're going to be covering Heavy Hitters main the uh, uh, the OG heavy hitters versus Sheldon Nas Massive, and to give you a little bit of back uh, background on this deal, uh, we have battled Sheldon Massive now three times. Uh, they took the first two, and um, and so it's turned into a little best of five series. So we're uh, we're trying to make the comeback and. We're very fortunate to uh, to have succeeded here in this latest round, round three, uh, with the win, uh, 84 to 80. Uh, it was much closer than that final uh, would suggest. Um, hats off to Sheldon Massive, and 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 I got to tell you, in my very brief dealings with the folks at Sheldon Massive, they are a class act, and I've heard that from uh, uh, from our clan representative who sets up these uh these arranged wars they are a class act hats off to them bunch of good dudes at sheldon massive so wish them the best of luck and uh uh you know unofficially uh i feel like we we might even call them a, a bit of a little uh, brother clan so just a buddy clan so good stuff sheldon massive you guys are awk uh, not a whole lot to get into. This is not going to be the most in-depth recap because the most recent update hit, uh, halfway through the war. So we only have, um, let's see, we only have that many, uh, attacks. So, um... Really, right, as I said, about halfway through. So you see the first recap comes with 11 hours and 52 minutes left. So the majority of the three bombs uh, had happened by that time. So what we have left are a bunch of dips and uh, and a bunch of cleanups. So um, not going to focus too much on a dip, but uh, there were a few attacks, a couple attacks I wanted to hit. I don't think there was any uh, 10 v 10, you know, huge hits. Um, but uh, I guess we'll just showcase um, a, uh, you know, a standard uh, bowler witch hit coming from a maxed out, offensively maxed out 11 versus a maxed out 10 um you know we've seen it all once we've seen it all a thousand times it's uh set set that funnel with some bowlers and some witches on the outside let them go pumping along down the sides taking out some stuff and you send in the uh the main force of bowlers and uh, that golem gets lost in the whole deal. You know, he, he doesn't do a whole lot anyway. But, um, you know, they're just chucking down the middle. Do, 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 do. Throwing a couple jumps. Let them get through uh, uh, over those wall sections. And uh, Bob's your uncle. You, uh, you get through and, you know, really town halls... Town Hall 10s just don't have much of a chance, and it's only getting worse. Now, you know, sure, Town Hall 10 gets an extra minor level, but so does Town Hall 11. So, mm. ah, tequila is good. It's good. It's good. So, um, and now with an extra healer, I uh, Queen Walk is going to suck again. I mean... Defensively, it's gonna suck. I I don't know where the game's going. Anyway, uh, so there you have that one. And 
he just made YouTube, so that's cool. Uh, well, let's see, what else? <laughs> Shut up. What else do we have? We've got, here, I'll show, uh, I'll show me. Let's see what Marvel me did. I haven't even watched this because, you know what? Um, uh, so we're going with Mass Miners. Uh, that I think, even though these are level four, uh, Miners, I mean, I think this is going to be, um, this is going to be tough for a Town Hall 10 to stop uh, Mass Miners from a Town Hall 11. I think it's going to be, uh, it, it's really going to reduce the amount of dip veils. So maybe that's good. Of course, there's talk that the up, update is, uh, is going to make it harder for Town Hall 10s to double a Town Hall 11. Um, we'll see if that plays out. It certainly seems like that's plausible, which means that uh, Town Hall 10 v 10 will become more uh, more important, and Town Hall 11s will have to focus more on Town Hall 11 opponents. Uh, but they still have two attacks, and uh, one can be focused on a Town Hall 11, and another could be focused on throwing a bunch of miners at a Town Hall 10 and clearing it out with no problem. Similar to this hit on me. Uh, at this point you're thinking, oh, oh, you're looking pretty good. No, no, there's a, there's a shit ton of miners still running around, ready to go, digging through it all. And, uh, I did manage to take out the uh, uh, the heroes. That was good. Good work, me. Or def my defense, rather. I had no part in it. Uh, but, uh, you know, here we are. We got a bunch of single target defenses left. And we've got uh, multiple miners going. Uh, as they say, R.I.P. me. I know some people say rip me. It's R.I.P. Damn it. Let's get this straight. Rest in peace is R.I.P. It's not rip. All right. Anyway. God. Kids. Um, what else do we have here? Let's go with... Uh, there were a couple of big um, town hall tens. V11s near, relatively near the end, at a, at a critical time in the match. So let's take a look at Big Country versus Ryan O. He's coming in with the four golem attack with 16 bowlers, plus more in the CC, I believe. Maxed heroes, of course. And he's going to set that golem up on the, uh, the, the left side as a, a meat shield with some bowlers to follow they're going to do the same thing down on the uh, down on the bottom and I apologize the tequila is making me burpy that's how you know it's good tequila when you get burpy or hiccupy and then uh, he's going to drop a couple of golems and the rest the balance of the bowlers along the middle, along with a jump spell to get him into that Inferno Tower chamber. And then second jump spell, so he's got that funnel created. And uh, second jump spell into the Town Hall box. Very patient on this. I hit the same base, maybe I was a bit rushed. Uh, I don't have maxed heroes, so that, that, you know, that doesn't help me. Um, but here he goes, Rage now in the middle, and uh, the Inferno's down. That's really a, a burden to those bowlers. Um, hits the, the, the King's Rage there, still has the Queen's Cloak in place, but uh, uses that here at the end and just nips off the last bit. So uh, measured it off nicely. And uh, good stuff there from Big Country. And let's see if uh, 
Who was the other one? Guzerberb. Henry. Good old Henry. See, there's where I, I whiffed. Uh, let's see what he does against hockey. So he's going to go with uh, the dragons and a couple of loons and a queen walk. So a completely different attack, which is good because I've been focusing on a lot of bowler witch attacks lately. So it's nice to see something different. Um, sets the queen off and she's chucking along, taking out some stuff. I don't think he wanted her to go that way, but uh, she did. And uh, now he's going to work on redirecting his attack. Mm. This is not brought to you by uh, Camarena Tequila. But if it were, uh, I would suggest buying some. Their Reposado is to die for. Simply to die for. So, the queen is working her way around the base here. Relatively easy. Not a whole lot of pressure on her. Um, he hasn't even used a single rage yet. And uh, she's just going... Clearly, Henry is uh, patient, to say the least. Getting quite a bit of value. He's already at 24%. Um, finna get a little bit more here. And, uh, you know, by the time he's going to drop his uh, dragons and loons, he's going to be at, I don't know, he could be at potentially 40%. Oh, he set off a, a couple of things, set off that um, the chicken gun. So now that's live, but uh, finally drew the CC out, finally used the queen's uh, cloak, and then here come in these dragons. The funnel is clearly set. They've got nowhere to go, despite however screwed up they want to be. they got nowhere to go but straight to the core and to the town hall. Um, drops the rage back on the backside, Inferno, and, you know, that, in, in hindsight, that may not have been the best place, because it's a multi-Inferno, it's not going to do shit to the dragons, but, uh, but on the other hand, wasn't a whole lot more he could do, probably wanted to grab that expo, um, but, you know, he's at 57% now, going to end up this with 57%, no problem. Um, that's a pretty strong hit. So, good stuff from Henry. And, uh, again, that's, that's really, that's all we got. I mean, the rest is just, you know, elementary. But, uh, uh, thanks to Sheldon Massive, a fine war. A tough opponent. We look forward to round four in this best of five series. And um, uh, good guys over there. So thanks for watching and uh, peace out.